Okay, go. All right, so I created my TiddlyWiki um, as a platform for my thesis autoanthography. Um, so this is basically where I'm collecting all of my data for my thesis. Um, so I originally started with my, uh, well, so the background of my project is that it's a um, data collection for my thesis and it's about implementing real world problem solving in a 9 through 12 curriculum in high school and how that benefits the students as well as people with disabilities in a 3D printing, um, uh, making adaptive technologies through uh, 3D printing and other softwares like that. Um, we were awarded a grant to make adaptive designs and we have a goal of eight um, projects that deal with health and recreation uh, in order to keep the grant. Um, Hold on so one second. I Huh? Hold on one second. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> Go. Okay. Um, so in that class, I have 9 through 12th graders, um, and I've got a couple of students with uh, mental disabilities as well. Um, so far in the 10 weeks out of the 20 weeks, we have nine projects that meet the grant criteria that are finished and ready to print. Um, three that don't, so we have a couple extras that work, but they don't actually meet the criteria. And we have a bunch of like totally failed projects that kids have given up on. Um, I do have a mix of male and female students. And um, yeah, that's the background of my class. So I decided to start my uh, Tiddly Weeky off with a, a Tiddler creator. So I know which week, uh, which student, if, if they have a partner or not, the type of data that is going into it and which project they're working on as a drop down menu so I can pick any of the weeks that's available. Um, the student, I have them all listed as their initials rather than their actual full names to protect them, um, as well as if they're working with multiple uh, students, um, if they have a partner, um, and then if it's, it's, it's feedback, miscellaneous, observation, or if the student's giving me some feedback, and then the projects. We've got a bunch of different projects. I still have a couple more to add because we still have uh, like eight weeks left. Um, so I start when I, I can just create my, my, my tiddler that way. So let's say if it's for week 11 and it's working off of uh, SF, um, she doesn't have a partner, but she's working on the kayak paddle. Um, right now I've already got information for her for uh, week 11. Um, but after that, um, so when it comes to engaging with my wiki, it's really I just need to like create a new one. Can you just create a new one temporarily or something like a fake sure. one? Yeah. So if we did like week 20 and we chose CC, he's got a partner of KR, uh, and we're going to go with just observation. Let's just say they're making the kayak paddle. Um, I can just say uh, these two work together, you know, these two, oh, if I could type, it'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Together yeah. for two weeks to try and create, so I can kind of add um, all their information. I kind of go where they went through through the week, so I do them by weeks rather than by days. Um, and once I, ooh. that I can tag them so then I can tag CC I can tag KR I can tag that it's the kayak paddle so why do you have to you already have all that stuff in fields that's the whole point right right so I I tie this in if I can type I, I swear I can yeah but you, yeah the, yeah yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't be tagging because that's not, that's you already you already you're using those fields as tags. 
Right. So I use, I use the tags to help me with listing. Right. So I just have to teach you how to list by field. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I, I know why you tag. Yeah. But yeah, we just have to show you how to list by field. Cause like the point of creating it is like, you're sort of pre tagging it. Um, if, if you'd rather have them, would you like to have each of the fields? Like, you know how you create it and you have all those values and fields. Do you yes. want to, would it be easier and kind of cooler if they were all in, in tags as well? Yeah. Okay. So we can do that. That's even easier than you, cause then tags are cool and you can make them color and they, they'll help you. So, okay. So we'll figure that out tonight soon in a minute. It will won't take us long. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if, if I was to finish that, um, it's, oh, I just X out of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So cool. So, so yeah, so you, so you make new tiddlers in each one and they're different kinds of objects, right? With notes and stuff and different data types. Right, of, of what the, the, that student or students yeah. have done for the entire week. And so what the creator does is creates a new tiddler and all of those values that you have in your pull down, it writes those to fields. Right. Yeah, and then what we're going to change is it's going to write it to both fields and tags. Right. Okay. I just think the fields would be good when I went, if I, if I decided to export this, right? Because you could export it. Um, either way. Yeah. It, that's, it's, um, <sighs> tags are just a special field that have some additional built in functionality, like quite a bit of functionality. So they're just, it's just, a, so, um, but we'll, but you should use, take advantage of that because I think it's, I think it would make sense to you in a way that I, um, didn't understand. Once I see that you're tagging, it's like, yeah, no, okay. I get it. So yeah. Um, because they're cool. Like you go to tools tag manager, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, more, sorry, more tag manager. Oh, right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep. And so, yeah, yeah. So, so then like you can like, so click on phone holder. Oh, where did you see that? I don't know, it's in alphabetical, right? So there's phone holder, and then you can change the color of it. Oh, cool. And, right? <laughs> then when you see it, like, all your projects will be green, and your students can have different shades. You know, like, you can, then you can visually navigate by, um, yeah, so go to one of those, um, We'll go to one of your notes about one. Oh, my, my computer's freezing. Yeah. Hello. Oh, okay. Right. And then, so, and then you'll, and then that will visually give you clues as to like what's happening with your data. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So then what's phone holder doing? What does the phone holder do? The phone holder tither. What do you have in there? So, and this was going into um, the hypertext part of this. So, nope. um, I have everything. I have everything listed because that's how it works in my head. Is like I like a full list, so I make sure that everything is listed. So, like if I have whether it's a student or the project or um, the data type, what whatever I have, the week, um, it's all listed right there, and I can see everything right up front. Um, and that's just, I, I like it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then the tagging helps me make sure that everything gets into those lists. Uh, and then the, uh, so let's look at the code for phone holder. Okay. So, so you're doing that. Yeah. So we did it so that it was um, listing everything that had the link of phone holder as well as transcluding all the photos. So what you're doing there is you're doing everything that's tagged phone holder. Right. Yeah. And you're listing it as a link. Yes. Okay. Because then it would then bring it to that. Right. And then the um you're also you're I'm transcluding the photos. And that's what let's scroll down. I don't think that's doing anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, and you get all the pictures visually. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, so close that for a second. And what else is tagged project? So project. It's right there. It's under the. It's in the phone holder, Tiddler. There's a project tag. Oh, right. Yeah. So let's go to bag holder. So bag holder might not have much underneath it because I don't think I've ever uploaded the photos. It's just what. Right. Well, let's look at that, Tiddler. Okay. And so that's the same, except that it has bag holder instead of photo holder, right? Correct. Okay. So have you built any templates yet? Yes. Okay. So for each. So copy each... that code, by the way. And just, oh, you don't have a clipboard buffer, so we'll come back to it. Okay, so show me one of your templates. So, oh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. So I have... You want to edit project template, Tiddler. That's oh, it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've got, I've got templates, I've got transcluding, I made sure I listed and, and, and tagged everything. Okay, so um, is that working? Yeah, actually, in, in, especially with like the listing. No, but do you know if that particular template is working? Yeah, yeah, oh, it totally does. I, I, I originally had it so that I was just linking them, um, and then I replaced it with that and changed some of the wording, and then I was able to do that for project student um, data type. Okay, so let's go, to, let's go to phone holder again, because wasn't that tag project? Yes. So. Okay, so you should be able to, so what happens if you take all the code away from this so that it runs on its template? The photos go away. Right, so okay, so then, so that's run, so that's first. So let's, so go back to your, um, go back to your template and underneath it paste the code in that you just deleted and you only need the, the you don't need the list links yeah and um okay and then put that put that lists closed list the last, the last three lines, yeah, take that out, move that to the bottom. Do I need one because this one's already there? You'll need two because you have two, you open it twice, you have to close it twice. Oh, just the, just the close list, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now it's inside the thing, so, and it's tag picture, tag title, instead of tag phone holder, just like you did above. Right. So you go ahead and change that, and then we should get your pictures in there. So in the line that says list filter, tag picture, tag phone holder? Yep. Yep, change phone holder. Whoop. All right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The tag bracket phone holder to curly brace double pound title. Curly brace. Just like you have above. So not at the no square, just exactly like you have it in the line above. No square bracket there. Backspace. Yeah, I, I can't see, so. Oh, geez. Yeah, now curly brace, bang, bang, title, just or exclamation, exclamation, title. Just like you have above, close curly brace, close square, quote, angle bracket. Yeah, okay, so that should work. So now we should go to phone holder. Give it a second. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, there's nothing in it, so you don't have to edit it. Great. Right? Okay. So, yeah. So then you can go all the things that are tagged project, you can delete the code from. Oh, okay. Right? Because that's why you have a template. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Because then you only have to maintain it in one place instead of every place. Right. And soon you're going to say, okay, so how else would, could you organize this to be maybe more useful to you? Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like the fact that if I go to the student, I can see everything the students done, including the photos. I like that. I, or not the photos, but like, um, like everything they've done, anything that they're tagged in, I can see what they do. Same thing with the type of data, same thing with the project. So it, it gives me like, so say I forget who made the phone holder, I can just click phone holder, or if I forget what the student made, then I can just click on the student. Cool. And it okay. to everything. So it, it, it seems a little bit um, chaotic. No, no. So go to, pro go to your project, Tiddler. So I think that's what we're missing is just like here. So I think, um, maybe you called it project. So I've got multiple projects. So I like that I can see all of the projects. And if I go to the student, I can see all of the students, but say I click on. So that's, that shouldn't be tagged as a template. So let's edit this. Oh, oh. where are we going? Yeah, so take the template tag off of that. and take the project tag. No, you can keep it tagged as project because that'll run it through the project template. So let's, yeah, so let's call this project overview or something. Okay. So, nothing is tagged both um, nothing has the project overview tag. So that's why that was a stupid thing for me to do. <laughs> so just call it project. That's why you called it project. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Well, yeah. And so this, okay. Oh, this is, all right. I got to say, so since I've ever been using this, teaching this class, I've never seen a case where it made sense to tag a tiddler to itself. Oh, okay. This makes perfect sense to tag a tiddler to itself because it leads into all of your other tags. Now you just click on anything like garden shovel and it takes you right there. Right. And then that's everything that's tagged garden shovel. Right. Cool. Yeah. Right. And that's, uh, so then you can see it from any dimension and you like it in lists. I do. Yeah, this, and they're not, they're, yeah. So, so how could you make your lists different? Um, it would be nice if I had them in order. Mm -hmm. So like if it was in an alphabetical order. Um, they're actually in, aren't they? What order are they in? They're always I mean, in order. It's enough, but like if I go to the, the week one, uh, that tends to, well, not week one. Oh, Lord. If I go to week, uh, it goes, I mean, it, it's doing it like 1, 10, 11, because it's so one. That's, that's in order. Right. What order would you like it to be? Yeah, I'd like it to be like 1, 2, 3, 4. If I go to a certain student. Yeah, no, I was teasing you. So the do you know why, how that's, that's, a, a, that's sorting it um, in a special kind of numeric sort by the first digit and then by the second digit? Yeah. So it's sorting it left to right instead of right to left. So I would need to change this to like zero one. That would work. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that would be the easiest. Or you could make it a numeric sort. So when you, when you, and you don't actually ask for it to be sorted. So it's by default sorting it that way. So if you want it sorted a different way, you can either change your labels to conform to the default method of sorting or request it to be sorted in a specific way. Um, I think if you change it to an end sort, it might sort it right. But um, me, 
I usually would go with week 01, week 02. And if you notice in like design right, that's what I did because it's just like sort of easier. Right. So and that's I, sort of, And I kind of like it that way because then, you know, technically, like if, so I write dates 2018-04-25 because then when you sort left to right, they'll sort in date order. Right. And that's like, it just, you get used to that. So, um, so anyway, yeah, so that's a sort of a data thing, but you, either way it would work. Um, so what else would you, so you'd like to, to manipulate the order of your lists. Um, what else would you do with lists? I have the same problem with, uh, when I, when I'm, when I'm gathering like the student data, uh, -huh. uh I don't, I'm not exactly sure why, but it seems to be duplicating or triplicating. Oh. Because, uh, okay, so let's edit this. Because CC still has code in it, right? Just anything that's tagged CC. Okay. Yeah, so but that's what the template's going to do. But CC is a tagged project. CC is tagged is, is a student. Oh, do you have a student template? I do. <laughs> do you have a partner template? No. Okay, so you have a student template. The student template. Okay, let's look at the student template. But but underneath student there is a partner. So yeah, you're doing the list link title. So that's where one of them's going to come from. Right. So um, so you so you don't need that code in this in this in a tiddler title tagged student Get rid of the list links code because it's going to be generated by the template So I don't need that no, Keep it in template. Oh, just get rid of it here. No, 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 no get close the template the templates fine X out of that don't save it <laughs> You'll no. change it but X out of it instead It's yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, well, um Hopefully you didn't change it. So go to the student CC temp, the CC one. Is your laptop definitely slow or is the tiddly wiki getting really slow? It's most likely my laptop. Okay. Because it's definitely slow. Yes. You're used to it, right? Uh, it's fairly new, I think, because I've started adding in all the photos. Okay, so the photos are slowing it down. Yeah. Okay. But I actually stopped saving for a minute. Um, I had to stop uploading photos because it wouldn't, it just kept closing out. Okay, so if you're going to have photos, let's figure out a different way to serve them. So get rid of that list links code. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now save it. it. It'll get there. There we go. Okay. So it's, and it's generating it twice, probably once because, um, I don't know why it's doing it twice. That's weird. Okay. It might be a project. Yeah. So, um, I have a thesis defense at seven. Okay. Then I'm going to go, I love your project. Um, and are you doing, remind me, are you doing thesis this summer or fall? This summer with my internship. With your internship. So, yeah. So, we need to talk regularly. Yes. Um, and if you're, so let's exchange some emails and maybe we'll pick out a time. If you're up for it, maybe we can talk kind of weekly for a little while. If you want to do that, would that help you? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we can like make you go for faster, not faster, but like get moving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so um, we'll find a time, and if, especially if there's a time like during the day, but you like have a job, right? Well, after June 24th, I'm out of school. Like right. I'm out of teaching, so then I'm free all day. I'll just be in that internship. Yes, but our summer ends like July 15th, July 20th. Okay. <laughs> my summer session and my summer begins July 20th. Okay. You know, I work till July 20th. I know you think I'm done. My semester's over, but then I start summer semester and it ends July 20th. So, um, 
so we should we should work you know and it starts like if we start now we'll get a two week jump we'll have 10 weeks instead of eight weeks okay you to work in august and stuff but i might i'll be less accessible well i'll be i'd like because i don't have school in july at all right um, i can do my my internship within the first three weeks of that exactly right but you okay. want to get the bulk of the thesis work and the data collection done now and organized and then you can do analysis in july right the organization is where you need help so let if you can let's see if we can find a time sort of on a regular basis if we can do it you know before well you get home at four right yes okay so four will be a good time because as long as i'm done by five i'm okay because i won't be going to utica so five will be four will be fine um, and we'll just pick a day and kind of do it all, every week and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Okay. This is cool. Um, if you send me an email asking me how to do the thing I said I'd show you how to do, which was um, have your new tiddler save, them, save the values as tags as well as fields. Okay. Then that's going to be in the group and I'll respond there with some code. Perfect. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Bye.